analog trading. Mm. That was maybe how it was done in the 80s and 90s. What is analog trading? Well, it was an analog world. You know, um, the digital world didn't exist really. So, I mean, well, well um, trading, I, I joined, I, I went from the stock exchange, which uh, had an options trading market, which was quite new. Um, so it was, there was a derivatives market and I learned about options there, but it was quite small. And so to progress really to the London International Financial Futures Exchange, it's a mouthful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a very serious open outcry market based on, on the ones that they had in Chicago. And so, so yeah, it was so analog that you would stand in a hexagonal pit and shout at people in order to execute a trade. And when you executed the trade, you wrote it on a piece of card and flicked it to your clerk who would be standing around the edge and he'd run off and then put input into the uh, exchange system so that the, uh, the trade could be matched with the counterparty. So it was all done with hand signals. So you would do the contracts on the face and the price out here. So if you wanted to pay, you know, 25 for 52 contracts, then that's how you signaled to the guy. Because with everyone standing in a pit shouting, you know, I couldn't have this conversation with you in a trading pit. Everyone is shouting. You've got brokers all around the edge trying to execute orders on behalf of their clients. So this is the way it worked. There would be booths, phone booths all around the edge of the pits. And then in the middle of the room, there would be hexagonal pits where various different uh, products were traded. So the guys on the phone with the brokers, they might be on the, on the phone to banks and hedge funds. So the banks might, for example, want to sell 100 Bunds, which is a German bond contract. So they would phone down to the floor. The guy in the booth would be like, okay, he'd give them the price. So we'd ask the broker on the edge of the pit, what's the size of the Bund? That, that meant size. And so, you know, let's say it was 2-3, um, 20-2-3, for example. He'd be like, 2-3, two, 2-3, three, two, three, two, three. And he'd be like, size, he'd be like, uh, bid on 200 and 500 and offered in 500. That was the size on your arm. So you just couldn't shout. So this guy would get on the phone, he'd be like, going, okay, it's 22.3, bid for, a, you know, 200, offered in 500. And he might say, well, buy 400. So he'd go, oink, 400. So guy on the edge of the pit would then be like, buy 100, buy 100, buy 100, buy 100. From, let, let's say he traded with four different people. You had to split the order up. You didn't normally trade with one person. Mm -hmm. so, so then the, the trader in the middle, which would be someone like me, I would be the market maker. We'd be like, okay, I'll sell you 100. And then I'd write down, sold 100. And then I'd give my card to my clerk he would give his card to his clerk and then it would be all matched up on the on the internal computer system so that was analog trading 